Hi, Dave Conkle from Conkle Custom Homes and Remodeling at ConkleCustom.com. We're here at a home that we're just finishing in College Park, and today I'd like to talk to you about special features of a front porch. So in this particular design and style, it was important for the front porch to be elevated off of the ground. Have you ever driven past a home where the porch feels like it's sinking into the ground? Um, that's usually because either the architect or the builder didn't pay special attention to expressing the front porch. So if you notice here, as I'm walking up, ergonomically this is very comfortable for me to walk up these steps. And usually we have a minimum of one, two, three steps up onto the porch. Then the porch always slopes at least uh, one inch. And then we have a step up into the home itself. This is an important feature. The next time you're driving around, just pay attention to the porches and see if they're expressed out of the ground. And, uh, and you'll know a special design feature when you're doing so. Uh, on this particular porch, uh, we used columns to support uh, this uh, front porch. Now, usually a good rule of thumb is that for every foot that you go vertically, you go horizontally one inch. But on this particular design, we went a little fatter on the design. If you look up at the, uh, the, the tabulature on, on the front porch, it's very thick and it feels heavy. So the columns want to make it look like it's properly supporting that tabulature. Um, have you ever looked at a house where the columns feel like spindly, like they're going to snap in half? Or the columns are way oversized and squatty? Uh, we paid a special attention to make sure that these sizes were architecturally pure and uh, an architectural keeping in this style of home. Um, on this porch, uh, we, we like to use tongue and groove uh, uh, a ceiling material. Sometimes we stain it. Uh, this time we painted it because that was a special uh, finish that the homeowner wanted. Um, on this uh, home we have uh, architectural shutters. Uh, these look like they operate, uh, but they're just decorative in nature. Notice we use hinges that show that they operate and shutter dogs or holdbacks that hold them in place. And uh, these are synthetic uh, shutters that will last a lifetime. In my second book that I wrote, uh, In-House Designing Your Dream Home Room by Room, I, have a, uh, I tell a story about uh, a doorbell in a house that I built for my family and me. Uh, my wife found this beautiful stainless dragonfly doorbell. And uh, that is probably the most talked about feature in, in that entire home. It cost uh, $38 and it was just a great kind of focal piece as you come in. Because what happens when you come to the front door? You usually ring the doorbell and what do you do? Looking around, looking at the quality, um, what kind of finishes and features they have. So when you buy a doorbell chime, they usually come with just a cheap, inexpensive plastic doorbell. So I asked the homeowner to go out and uh, select a doorbell that was appropriate. This is a little sleek. It's simple. It matches the uh, the light fixture in here, and um, and and uh, so so don't overlook the fact that you don't want to put a cheap uh, doorbell uh, as one of the first things that you see coming into the home. Uh, the other thing that we pay attention to on these porches is that when we do the front door, do we have nice massing around the door itself? They wanted just a simple blue two-panel door. Uh, with a mail slot and a door knocker and we have uh, uh, side lights with panels and glass above and then what we did is we made the casing on here wider and it lands on a plinth block and as you look at the detail up top the header has a little bit more mass in, in height it sticks out a little bit more and notice that it overhangs about two inches uh, that's an architectural feature uh, that's important uh, in these designs so if you're thinking about uh, designing your new home, feel free to contact my office for a free copy of my book, In-House Designing Your Dream Home Room by Room. And if you're thinking about building or remodeling, please consider our team. Conkel Custom Homes and Remodeling at 407-466-3882.
Kaku Custom Homes and Remodeling, a builder to believe in, building trust one homeowner at a time. From new construction to full-scale renovations, Kaku Custom Homes and Remodeling has been a leading luxury custom home builder in the Central Florida area for over three decades. We work with you as your partner to design and create a custom home that suits your taste, your lifestyle, and your future. For more information or to schedule project consultation, call us today at 407-539-2938 or visit our website at www.conkelcustom.com. Conkel Custom Homes and Remodeling, a builder to believe in, building trust, one homeowner at a time.